Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Tools War channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. On February 21st, Turkey's first ever domestically built fighter jet took to the skies for the first time. It departed from Mertid Airfield Command, located 22 miles north of the capital Ankara. At the controls was Turkish Aerospace Industries, Thai, test pilot Barbaros Demirbas. For 13 minutes, the prototype jet cautiously flew, with its landing gear locked down, out to 8,000 feet high and no faster than 265 miles per hour, accompanied by a Turkish Air Force two-seat F-16D fighter. Then, Khan circled back around and executed a drag chute assisted landing at Mertid, formerly Akinci Air Base, before it was renamed due to the participation of local F-16 squadrons in a failed 2016 military coup. Subsequent tests will involve progressively higher altitudes and speed to a peak of around twice the speed of sound. Khan plays a key role in Turkey's plans to eventually develop a self-sufficient military, despite the high costs and technical complexity intrinsic to building modern warplanes. The twin-engine jet, also known as the National Combat Aircraft, MMU, had its public rollout and initial tax testing in March of 2023. That year it underwent wind tunnel, radar cross-section, and ejection seat testing, the facilities for which reflected major new investments by Thai. However, its maiden flight took place two months later than intended. Khan has a profile broadly similar to the US F-22A Raptor stealth fighter. Sporting an aluminum nose and titanium center fuselage, its surfaces are coated with lightweight, low-radar reflective composite carbon thermoplastics that Turkish companies were originally building for F-35 jets. As externally mounted weapons degrade stealth, it has two small internal, cheek, bays nested next to the engines able to carry two short-range air-to-air missiles each. However, configuration of the main under-fuselage bay with capacity for up to four longer-range air-to-air missiles or air-to-ground weapons reportedly took longer to finalize though a circulating picture suggests that may have been resolved. More problematically, the prototype's American F-110GE129 turbofan engines, also used on F-16 fighters, aren't optimized for stealth. The Mora Jet's radar cross-section, RCS, has been reduced by its geometry and use of radar-absorbent materials. The closer it can safely approach enemy fighters and air defenses and slip past or attack them before they can react and the extent to which RCS reductions apply to the fighter's side and rear aspect, not just the front, dictates how deep it can penetrate enemy airspace. In respects to kinematics, Khan is aimed to fall within typical modern fighter performance benchmarks, a maximum speed of Mach 1.8 to 2.2, service ceiling of 55,000 feet, tolerance for maneuvers exerting up to 9 gigaseconds, and a range of 700 miles on internal fuel. It's also expected to be supercruise capable, i.e. able to fly sustainably at supersonic speeds without resorting to fuel gulping after burners. Use of two engines will raise costs but, should reduces losses to engine failures. Khan is to be armed with reconnaissance pods and standoff range precision guided weapons, including NATO standard missiles like Meteor, and indigenous Turkish armaments like the short-range Bozdoan and medium-range Gokdoan air-to-air missiles. SOM cruise missiles, 171 mile range, and MAM T anti tank missiles. Avionics will supposedly include a modern glass cockpit, with voice command I autopilot that can land the plane should the pilot fall unconscious, and a British Martin Baker ejection seat, possibly the US 16 East model. Thai also promises fused sensors, including a jam resistant and stealthy AESA gallium nitride radar by Turkish firm ASELSAN a nose-mounted infrared sensor and a 360-degree coverage electro-optical targeting system under the fuselage, fittings for both of which are already visible, open architecture mission systems, a helmet-mounted sight, and the capability to control accompanying Anka-3 combat drones. In truth, Khan still has a long journey ahead of it. The current prototype lacks mission systems. The following two prototypes, planned to fly in 2025 and 2026, should have most in place. After producing between 7 and 10 prototypes in total, delivery of the first 10 Block 1 aircraft intended for military service is slated for 2030 to 2033. Only then is a decade of mass production to commence, at a rate of 24 aircraft per year, to gradually replace Turkey's F-16 fleet and serve on through the 2070s.